the financial details section, you can set up any specific charge and payment details, plus invoicing and account details. Again, if these fields are pre-filled for you, they are being pre-populated from your system defaults. Select the relevant VAT code from the list. Again, these lists are user managed, so you can create additional ones if needed by clicking Add. Now select the relevant charge codes for the different types of work you may raise for the customer. Select a charge code for repair jobs, and these are any ad hoc or reactive jobs that are raised in the system. Next, add a charge code for service jobs, and these are any pre-planned service or maintenance jobs that will be raised from service contracts in the system. You can also add a charge code for inspection jobs, which are any jobs raised for inspections as part of your hire or off-hire processes. Click the button if you want to invoice jobs for this customer to their individual site addresses. Leave this unchecked if you want all invoices to go to the main customer address. Next, you can select payment term for the customer from the list or click add to create a new one. If adding new, give the payment term a name and then add the number of days you want to set for the payment to be due. You can then choose the term type to one of the options for number of days in the following month, days after the bill date, days after the end of the billing month and days of the current month. You can also select the correct currency code for the customer using the next field. You can enter an annual sales target for the customer and this can be used for reporting in the system. Enter the customer's VAT registration number if known and then you can apply a SLA profile if being used. SLA profiles allow you to categorise your customer by a service level and is linked to your priorities and response times. For instance, you could use this to give a special SLA profile against your standard priorities based on the size of the customer's business or the relationship you have with them. Select one from the list or click to add a new one. If adding new, give the profile a name. You can then decide to alter the response times for any of your priority codes in the system to be used with this SLA profile. Next, you can add a special price profile for the customer from the next list. Select one from the list or click Add to create a new one. Special profiles can be set up to give a special price against stock, a service type, a charge code, stock price bands or an engineer. Special prices can be a deduction or an increase in value. Special pricing is covered in more detail in another video. Next you can add the customer's company registration number if you want to record it and you have options for enabling consolidated invoicing for the customer as well. Consolidated invoicing allows you to combine multiple separate invoices into one document for the customer. Select the types of invoice that your customer would like to receive as consolidated invoices and you can select one or more types. Finally, you can add any specific accounting contacts for the customer here. These contacts can be used in the communication centre as recipients for emails from the system for documents such as invoices.